mwanu mwamene mja mwamene mulili mwamene muntambila aha kwa mene munionela na futi it is me myself i and i andrew asumpa on this uh, birthday program uh, this morning the 27th of november 2015 this is a lovely program i know and i believe that you are getting to love this program because you never find this program anywhere else but it is only on a river ratio a tv muzae sakutuna kuchane or maybe even makarike kachane ozi ajaya so sumzai peza e program this program is only kwa mene kuno tabe kulivarishen a tv mulusaka zambia mwa mene tilili makamaka ni mulivala stage 3 na proti number ni za kupasani city bisa ai it is 204370 when market makonda kuitana at 24 at 3 at 7 so this is a birthday program where you just get uh, to call in and uh, we allow you so that uh, we talk together takambi sana pankani ya birthday whose birthday you you whose, whose birthday you are celebrating maybe it could be the birthday of your brother it could be the birthday of your sister the birthday of your mother your 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 father your children your beloved one your friends uh, wherever they Ah you may wish them a happy birthday through this lovely program coming to you every day till be at leo ni pasande ni pasata de ni pachtatu ni pachnai kapena pachiviri futi no today is the saturday 27th of november 2015 program ya bwera na futi na mairo za bwera even yesterday it was yesterday if uh, i mean even yesterday it was there even the days to come the program will still be there so like i said it is me myself why and i on liberation a tv on this lovely program of birthday a program it is a birthday program where we just get to celebrate your birthday to also to celebrate with you uh, as you are wishing your beloved ones a happy a birthday so there's a number on your screen ilipo number pa screen ya nunizi so you can get to call that number we talk together tikambisane imwena ine kwa mene mtutumira zina yanu na wamene mwishing a happy birthday this morning the 27th of november at 20 at 15 so you can start calling in the all the the line is open now you can start call in and wish your beloved ones a happy a birthday birthday ni chintu chumozi cha mene chuma bwera cha be kamozi muye kamozi the whole year kamozi cha be still nga ni seasons ya hii ati kulero kwa zizila mairo kwacha uh, amin kwa zizila ejade kwa pia mzaka dabat na mktoba futi mvula ya loka futi na futi mktoba snow ya bwayagwa mwaziva ka but this uh, this birthday imabwera cheka mozi no matter what kulibe mtu azaka kabadu hapo kavili abadu wa mjanuari abadu wa na november no ngati ndwa mnovemba come on call in that number on your screen we celebrate together we want to celebrate with you we want to dance and jive with you feel the way you are feeling we, want, we, we just want also to help you as you are celebrating even here at the Russian TV at studios also getting to know i mean to let you know that we are celebrating uh, with uh, you uh uh-huh. now in pempeko chimoziku everyone who is watching otuma nilikupapata na futi na futi potuma mkatuma namba ijanza pempako mabwezako volume ku tv yanu urukapena mankala koche patali ko pangono na tv yanu so that imwe naine we are able to communicate clearly loud and clear without any delay without any echo without any distortion without any disturbance not na tujua to number maitana ati tuma kan tuma reverb kan tuma chanjo to tumapunda chui so pempako kuti mabweza koche volume then takamsa na mshe mshe taziva kuti whose birthday is today the 27th of november at 20 at 15 so you can start calling the line is all praying call in let me know whose birthday you are celebrating today maybe the birthday is today am i having a call on the line hello good morning Okay my line seems to be a blank at this a moment so you can still call in call in call in call in call in the number is there on your screen o samvela ulesi ya itengani phone yanu mutume mwauzi wakazi wanu i'm saying happy birthday to my wife i'm saying happy birthday maybe to my husband maybe to my children and uh, to my maybe mother father the the relatives maybe also maybe a uh, happy birthday to the beloved ones so to say kaika mu general so the number is still there on your screen sizaenda ikali 
alipo pakachabe mtume because we want to talk to you we want to feel happy with you this is a birthday program coming to you every morning every morning every day in the morning from 07 hours to 07 at 30 hours aha ya bwele achabe imwe kudbe na wenangu ndi imwe vamene imwe na imwe na imwe vamene ya bwele la a program knowing and believing that muli na birthday na imwe iko be today so a program pamene ya bwele tengani phone yanu mutitumire na mutitumire kuti mhm ni birthday yanu mcelebrate ni birthday maybe ya mwana wanu ya mene mcelebrate maybe ni birthday uh, ya muntu we mziwa o maybe mzanu celebrate ama ningi ama ningi kuti celebrate bonse aha ti celebrate ya nkanyo celebrate ino aha like yesterday tenzeko na ma birthday uh, wana tuma wantu batizibisa kuti leo ni birthday ya bachite na bachite uh, tina celebrate ya bonse tina mvesa na mushe maningi maningi bonse Munga mamele tiza mverana na mushe analelo kozi tizi wakuti pade ya pade munga lelo umozi anabadwa from a somewhere. So to everyone who called in yesterday we just want to say uh, thank you very much. Uh, we've got Mr. Mwengwe Sims all the way from Kitwe. He turned 26 years. So Mr. Mwengwe Sims there in Kitwe we are saying happy birthday uh, to uh, you and we are urging you to keep on referation to, to keep on watching Revelation uh, TV. I've got also Winfrida. Uh -huh. she, was wishing a, she, was, she was wishing her mother a happy a birthday. She also called in from Kitwe. Uh, Kitwe yesterday was uh, was uh, was in the uh, birthday uh, mood because everyone they just called uh, from Kitwe. I've got also Ag I've got also Ag uh, Agnes. Um, Agnes Mwape, she also called her uh, from Kitwe. She was wishing the sister a happy a uh, birthday. Uh -huh. Then later on, her sister, she turned 20, she, I mean, she turned 33, I mean 32 years uh, yesterday. She called in and saying and said, it is my birthday. I've just turned 32 uh, years. So wherever you are, uh, Agnes, they are 32 uh, years. You are still in the... In the in the what in the eighty thirty two Paptakoche a day and some hours just so mute two are you so we are saying happy birthday to you mama all the way there where you are in Kitwe we are happy for you and we are happy for you celebrating with you wishing you a happy a belated birthday all the way from all the way from Livala a stage a three right here in Lusaka Zambia happy birthday to everyone who called in yesterday and we are saying happy 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 a belated a birthday now we are getting uh we are getting to we are waiting to hear now from those whose birthdays is today from those uh, who are to celebrate their birthday uh, today maybe you know someone a relative a friend from somewhere call in and let us know it is their birthday uh, today so that we celebrate a uh, dance and jive uh, with them as uh, this uh, lovely uh, morning uh -huh. it is me myself i and i andrew sumpa happy a uh, birthday i uh, wishes a uh, program undia ya mene ya buera na kubuera na futi na futi na namba iripo pansi hapo pamene muverenga happy birthday i uh, wishes a uh, program there is a line saying Co, let us know how you are this morning. And uh Vamenem za celebrated maning maningi birthday anu kutitis visane or in a mebin design da kwaso, mebi mfuno kuka pano pa nyumba and kukire kwaso, mebin de manu funo celebrated birthday anu ni kukuka kunyamla makatu ndu kuika mumotoka. No chas zalewa. Let us know, let us know, let us know to celebrate once to velele maningi maning mushi once na kuseke lela kuribe. Kuribe na buwanji, na buwanji za. Ok, ehe, kuribe na vandeo, kuribe na voyambana yambana, maybe na vantu. Awe nangu, a birthday ni akamozi. Chabe ye yonze izapita, but one day, yeve within the year, izapese kamo kuti. It was your birthday, it is your birthday. So it could be today, the 27th of November. 2015 my brother my sister my mother my auntie my uncle my father wherever you are watching me from uh, call in and let me know it is your birthday we want to celebrate with you the revelation a tv production and everyone involved in the production of this uh, program we are waiting to hear from you and just 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 you let us know it is your birthday we celebrate we dance we jive we feel good we we also visana visana maningi maningi we know we know 
Sangalala na imwe. So call in and let me know. Call in and uh, wish your beloved one a happy birthday. Uh huh. In this uh, program of uh, over of, uh, uh, I mean on this uh, lovely uh, birthday program this uh, morning, the 27th of November at uh, 2015. Uh, this program coming to you every day in the morning from 07 hours to 07:30 hours a birthday program. No one else but only on a uh, Liberation TV. Try to tune in Kukali Keka channel. You won't find it only on Liberation uh, TV. These other channels you won't find this a uh, program. This program has just been dedicated to you, the viewers, so that you uh, you having that opportunity to let your friends, uh, let your beloved ones, and uh, let everyone know that uh, you are wishing them a happy birthday. You are wishing them a good life. You are wishing them a long life. You are wishing them a healthy a life. You are wishing them and a uh, many, many, many more uh, years uh, ahead of them. Makamaka kutina wevi waka sekelela waka zimvela mushe bale umfuwa wino kui mfusha wino kabili ufutu kumfuwa wino kula ufuika wino nga mwewe ne mle yumfusha wino pantu kumfuwa wino e kumfuika na wino abwino komi 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 ko on this uh, program we talk together timvesane mushe mushe tuishime nefi ya kuchita tuishime na the way a forward happy a better from the time this program began uh -huh. People have been calling in, so we just want to say happy birthday to everyone, and uh, we just want to say happy belated a birthday to everyone who called in from the beginning of this program up to date. Everyone who called in, we say thank you very much, and uh, my birthday, Abo, we are saying happy a belated a birthday. We are still in the month of November, still celebrating your birthdays, you people who just uh, called in and let us know that it was your birthday, you, you were there telling us it is my birthday, you were there telling us, no, it is the birthday of my children, birthday of my sisters, maybe my friends, my father, my mother, my my darling, that's a wife and a, uh, a husband. So, on this program, let us know, it is your birthday. <coughs> Excuse me for that, Mazi, so, uh, hey, so, I was... <coughs> So wherever you are watching me from, uh, call in and let me know it is your birthday. Want to celebrate with you? Celebrate with your family. Celebrate with your family. I want to wish you a happy birthday to my sister. You want to wish a happy birthday to your sister? Yes. You, what is her name? Enalazuru. Come again. What is her name? Enalazuru. Enalazuru. And what is your name? Zainfazuru. Zainfazuru. What are you saying to your to your sister this morning? I am wishing her a happy birthday. A happy a birthday and what other lovely message are you wishing for your sister this morning? Ah, uh, that's all. Oh, that's all. What are you going to buy for your sister this morning? Today? I'm going to buy a dress for her. Wonderful. We are going to buy a dress for her. Okay, 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 okay. That was the sister. Uh-huh. She called in wishing the sister a happy a birthday. Enarazulu, you be uh Enarazulu, you, your sister will buy you a dresser uh, today. So congratulations. Uh, you are a conqueror today on the 27th of November. You were born. Poo 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 Enarazulu abuabuera sabe patsalo on the uh, I mean here on earth. Pa wafika no fika. Congratulations to you, Enarazulu and the Revelation TV production and everyone involved. We are happy and we will celebrate uh, with you knowing today that the 27th of November is your birthday. Is your birthday so happy birthday to you, Enala Zulu? I didn't get to uh, uh, where you where where you, where you called from. Uh, sina zibe, sina vesese, matumila kuti, sumna nyuzi. I want to. I want to tell the people that you 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 called from such 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 a town and uh yeah but thank you very much for calling in we wish you a good life even you uh-huh the caller we are saying thank you very much for calling and wishing uh, your sister a happy a birthday so my ning because she's your sister so buy her that wonderful dresser buy her that beautiful dresser Happy a birthday to you. So the Zuru 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 family there where you are. I know you are watching. I'm happy for you. And I know and believe that you help uh you help uh your 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 
your your family a member in Alazuru to celebrate a birthday uh, in a good and godly manner, in a godly feeling manner, and uh, let's uh, allow to be kapamo once uh, unite us as a family, and uh, we shall celebrate in a good manner. We know we know once to allow for we know. Thank you very much for calling in in Alazuru. Happy birthday uh, for you. You are a conqueror. Muli wakali, muli wakali, muli wakali, 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 na wakali na futi ni mwe wapa 27 mwalisa isa pano pesamba ili atalo aha so call in still the program is on today the 27th of november okay 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 call in people let us know that it is your birthday it is your birthday it is your birthday hello hello we know we know we know we know we we know three number cool revelation TV collect that wish my best day. I'm quite three me wishing after my best day for you. Njebe ni ishna yenu mwe wana. Nene ne wo just in and that that wish best day sister Andi. Ni na ni ishna sister wen. Ni hope. Oh hope. Hope. Hope who? Ni ni wa hope nani? Ni hope na mkoko three for mum te pele the color red one to the best day ako. Okay hope na mkoko. Mkwai. Okay, tuatiasha wa na ni message nchi mumsu ngireko sister wen. Eh. Hey. Okay, what is the message for her this morning? Them that I wish you happy birthday many 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 years to live. Amen, amen, amen. What are you going to buy for your sister this morning? Ah, the pair of them that I am stuck of your wish. Mwenye mshita of your wish. Efinti hey. fofine amashi we chikankala amashi we chikankala so eh uh, hey, no kumbika kwa hiyo mapepo mapepo ain eh hey. hey, mkwai akumanye miaka shinga anya 18 years 18 years eh hey. Ah ah wa hope wa kula 18 years okay Nakula. na wa kula na wa kula tu ala wavika mapepo aha uh -huh. even after the program tu ala pitilisha kuwa wavika mapepo eh okay tu atotela tu atotela wa Justina na Mukoko foko mle tumina kuisa Kalulushi oh Kalulushi thank you very much wa hey. Justina pakutumila na pakutishi wisha mle mfwa wino ha 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 ehe Eruseko nkwete runo akachero uroa ifine Mbukile fe nensansa lelo Neshi kuhisha kuhisa nkala wuka fe nensansa Ba Justina watuma ukufuma kukalulushi Thank you very much ba Justina All the way from Kalulushi Wishing your beloved a sister a happy birthday Who is Hope na Mukoko She just turned to, uh, she just turned 18 years 18 years ba Hope ukomuri kukalulushi 18 years yi mwafika poti Efinti unafuti na futi Life number air hamba Happy birthday to you Justina I mean, happy birthday to you, Hope Namukoko. Hello? Am I having a... Okay, hello? Hello. Hello, good morning. Morning. How are you, sir, this, uh, the, uh, on this oh, day? I just want to wish uh, Yvette. Wish, you, you, you are wishing a birthday to who? To Yvette. Sorry, come again? I'm wishing a uh, birthday to Yvette. To Yvette? Y Yvette? Yvette Chasso. Yvette Kasso. Yeah. And what is your name, sir? Francis. Francis who? Francis NK. Okay, Francis NK. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Chunga. From Chunga? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Francis, all the way from Chunga. What is the message are you having for your for, for, for Yvette Kasso? Say happy birthday. Happy birthday. Where is Yvette Kasso? Yeah, he's in Chululu. Oh, okay. In Chululu. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Francis SK, for calling in and let us know that you are watching Revelation TV. All right. Thank you very much, sir. We'll keep on wishing, we'll keep on wishing Yvette Kasowa a happy a birthday and many, many, many a years to come. That was Mr. Francis SK all the way from Chunga calling in wishing Yvette Kasowa a happy a birthday. So wherever you are, Yvette Kasowa, happy a birthday from Francis SK all the way from Chunga and the Revelation TV production and everyone involved in the production of this program, which is the birthday program. We are saying happy birthday to you and many, many, many 
many more years to come. Keep on calling people. Let me know. It is the birthday of Chite and Chite and Chite. Wish them a happy birthday. Tell them that a lovely message you have just kept for them at this morning. Uh -huh. If I was in this program, I was making a mistake. I was making a mistake. I was saying today the 27th. I was saying today the 27th of November. Imagine I. I think it is the 28th, uh -huh. actually in 28, 28th of November 2015, imagine so, yeah, imagine, sorry, 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 sorry today, I, I, I mean sorry you people, our viewers, wherever you are watching, I me mean, from, I'm apologizing, uh -huh. forgive me, kula kufirasangwa kono umuntu, alufianya filia, eh, na chila lo kula lidi lokumu na kwatna kamote abula achia, kanshi kare buchi, kare buchi, actually today is the 28th, of November at 2015 imobe nangu lelon birthday anu pa 2018 nezo kusoko nizani ni kamba pa 27 so maybe you are thinking ah maybe no it's it's birthday anga birthday anga maybe ina pita it was a yes I mean I mean ikadbo pita is ankala kwa mailo no actually ni lelo the 28th of November call in and let me know it is your birthday we feel good together we dance we jive we jump tuchaipo na manager ni tumafu nito chaya muzi baka emuli yesu if into fila chitika no kumfuika abu ino abu ino actually it is the 28th of November at 2015. Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Mutuanga, 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 uyu, mutuanga. Unga kambi bonji pa 27. Imagine I. In pa 28, you people, it is the 28th of November, 2015. Yeah, okay. Hello? Hello? Good morning. Morning, hi. Hi to you too. What is your name and where are you calling me from? My name is Gladys Nkole. Gladys who? Nkole. Okay, Gladys Nkole. Where are you calling me from? I'm calling from Chunga. Wow, wow, wow. Calling from Chunga. Is it your birthday? Yes. No, it's my birthday. Yvette Kasauka. Yvette who? Yvette Kasauka. Yvette Kasauka. Chasauka. Yvette Chasauka. Yes. Okay. What message are you having for Yvette Chasauka this morning? Ah, just wishing her happy birthday. Okay. How, uh, uh, how old now? 27. 27, uh-huh. Yes. Okay, thank you very much, Mama Gladys, for calling in and wishing her, your friend Yvette Chasauka a happy a birthday. What are you uh, what what are you going to prepare for her? No, we are just trying to her today at oh. the showground. Sorry, come again. We are going to the concert at the showground. Okay, to the concert. Am I invited? Yes, you are invited. It's free. It's free. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I almost said, okay, maybe I don't have money, but thank you very much for letting me. It is free. I'll be there by God's grace. Sir. Thank you very much, Mama Gladys, for calling in all the way from Chunga. We appreciate you and keep watching Revelation TV, Mama Gladys. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mama Gradis. That was Mama Gradis all the way from Chunga. Gradis Mko. Gladys Nkole, yes, I'm sure, I'm sure, Gladys Nkole, she just called in wishing uh, the friend Yvette Chasauka, she who just turned uh, 27 uh, years, so uh, Yvette Chasauka, wherever you are, we are saying happy birthday uh, to you, many, many more years to come, go and celebrate your birthday responsibly, hello, hello, hey, good morning, sir, good morning, how are you? I'm okay. Thank you very much. Whose birthday is today? It's Tolita Mubanga. Sorry, who? Hello? Yes, whose birthday is today? Mubanga. Mubanga who? It's Tolita. Mubanga Skalita? Yeah. Okay, and what is your name? I'm John Mwewa. John Mwewa. Where are you calling, where are you calling from? From Lusaka. From within Lusaka, where exactly, sir? Lilanda. From Lilanda? Yes. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. John Mwelwa, all the way from Lilanda, calling, wishing. Uh, what is the relationship between you, John Mwelwa, and uh, Mubanga Skalita? Hello, Mr. John Mwelwa? He's a friend. Oh, just a friend? Yeah. Okay, what have we prepared for your friend? Uh, something special. Something special. Yeah. Is it a secret? Yeah. Not. Not really. Not really. Yeah. <laughs> what other lovely message are you having for Mubanga this morning? I, I wish the best for him. Wishing the best for him. 
Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. John Mwerwa, calling all the way from Lilanda. Thank you very much, sir, for calling. We appreciate you and we urge you to keep on watching Revelation TV. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, that was Mr. John Mwerwa. Uh huh. All the way from Rwanda, wishing a friendly Mubanga Skalita a happy a birthday. So Mubanga Skalita, wherever you are, wherever you are watching this program, uh, from this is a birthday program coming to you every morning from 07 hours to 07:30 hours. Mister Mister John Mwelwa has just wished you a happy a birthday. You Mubanga Skalita, there where you are. Happy birthday to you and many, many, many more years to come. May God let you bless you, guide you, protect you, and be with you all the days of your life. Today we know to a secret and I forbid today the 28th of November 2015. Atini nilelo nilelo kubena na inangu nilelo nilelo 2015 na 14 na 40. Aha. Here is a Mr. Here is a Gladys Nkole from Chunga code and send a wishing at the friendly event Chasauk who just turned 27 uh, years. We was also saying happy birthday to you, Yvette Chasauka. Happy, happy a birthday. But Gladys, you said that you'll be going to a concert and uh, Mwalaba no mnenu uyuwine mkala celebrate a birthday kuri a concert. I believe it's a godly a concert. Mwala celebrate wino wino mwala umfwa wino. Even as the ministers will be ministering to you, you'll be there with the chmola which a birthday, with the chmola which a concert. I know when the spirit of God is there, everything happens, uh, everything happens to go on well and it happens in a godly a manner, in a good way, in a God fearing manner. So happy birthday to Yvette Acha Sauka, Murea concert. Mwyo mtende, msekelele, abu ino wino, mbonse, tuwa mitotela. But John Mwelwa there in Lilanda, where you are. Thank you very much for calling in. Wishing Mubanga, uh, wishing Mubanga Skalita a happy a birthday, who is just uh, your friend. Uh, it is good wishing friends, families, uh, relatives, makamaka, nabadia, abatemwikwa a happy a birthday. You know it is the birthday of someone. Call in and let me know it is the birthday of someone and you are to celebrate uh, today. Tell me uh, what kind of celebration uh, you'll be, you be having. Uh, today the 28th of November at uh, 2015 uh, it is me your boy I and I Andrew Sumpa <laughs> I just said a boy <laughs> okay and my boy is who boy mom so yes it is me myself I and I Andrew Sumpa your boy on this a uh, birthday a uh, program I know and I believe that you are loving this program so thank you very much for keeping uh, thank you very much for watching this birthday program coming to you every day that quit in Sunday that quit in Tuesday that quit in Monday in patch that in patch nine in patch three patch sano eh free party the free five yeah this program comes to you every morning for so long as now which are lesser at we but never never and you can number go in the field and do what a work so that is a program yeah it's angel no before you people goes for work before you people uh maybe do anything let's remember it is the birthday of someone so let's just make them uh feel happy today even as they'll be uh, enjoying their day they'll also be remembering that in the morning uh, a friend of mine maybe my husband my relatives i uh, wished me a happy a uh, birthday so thank you very much people for 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 calling in for 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 letting us know that uh you were watching at uh, this program as that now i'm coming to the close of the program so thank you very much justina for calling thank you very much uh francis sk for calling gladys thank you very much uh for calling as well as john Mwerwa. thank you very much for calling hope happy birthday to you yvette happy birthday yvette again happy a birthday wherever you are watching this program it is me your boy i and i andrew super for now i'm signing out and uh, asking you make a date tomorrow morning the same time with me again it will be me myself i and i andrew Sumpa from all the way revelation tv studios we are saying thank you very much for watching and we are now signing out it is bye bye god bless you and a happy birthday i'm out sharp see you tomorrow amen amen
The Bible says according to the book of Hebrews 12, 24, that Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, the sprinkling of the blood that speaketh a better way than that of Peter, we are going to pray by the power and authority invested in this. Jehovah, I release the anointing right now. The anointing that shall break every yoke. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory. It's time to image yourself into the presence of God. If you are not in God, you are with the devil. There are two masters. It's either we, you are on the left, it's either you are a goat or a sheep. The Bible says in the last days, you shall separate the goat from the sheep. And the sheep shall be in the right side. I want you to take this moment, child of God, to move on the right side. The Bible says the right side of the right hand of, of God is the right hand of power. So Paul is using this illustration that you are brand new new creation you've come into a whole new world you are not the same person that you used to be you are linked up to the very dna of jesus
Good morning, viewers, and welcome to Delight Morning Live. Uh, this is uh, the program that comes to you every Saturdays from 9.30 hours to 9.30 hours. And I believe that you, our viewers out there, are getting blessed because this is a day that the Lord has made in it. We we'll rejoice and be glad in it. The fact that we are alive this morning, God has accorded us this privilege and this honor to be alive on this particular day. Even in Psalm 150 verse 6, tells us to say that let everything that has breath praise the Lord. As long as we are alive, as long as we are breathing on this particular day, we have a reason to praise and glorify the name of the Lord God Almighty. I'm a presenter, Senior Piri, and with me in the studio, as usual, I'm joined by my co-presenter, who is also just going to introduce himself as we proceed through this uh, delight, morning life. Mr. Kayoma, good morning. Thank you, Senior, and good morning, viewers. I'm your co-host this morning. My name is uh, Lovely. Kayombo. And uh, this morning we are looking at uh, selfishness, and uh, which is uh, the, the attitude of being concerned with one's own interests above the interests of others. And we are quoting from uh, the book of uh, Philippians 2, uh, verse 2 to 4. And the Bible says, Then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do, not, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain. Conceit rather in humility than, uh, than in humility value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interest, but each of you to the interest of others. And that's the Bible reading for this morning, and we're going to go on this as we go on with our program. Yes, indeed, as we proceed uh, through this uh uh, program which is a um, uh, delight morning life even as today our topic uh, for discussion is selfishness I'll just read you what uh, I have to read you this morning it's interesting to note in this passage that Paul compares selfishness to empty conceit a term that could be translated vanity or arrogance it refers to an overly high opinion of oneself selfishness or empty conceit is often expressed by building up oneself while tearing down someone else. It is one of the works of the flesh, according to Galatians 5 verse 20. So this is what we'll be uh, talking about this morning, that is uh, selfishness. Mr. Kayombo. Yeah, and uh, before we go on with the program, I'll be able to, uh, to introduce our guests in the studio, uh, my colleague, uh, uh, Pretty is going to bring the guest here. We do a French program for the last 20 minutes just to also cater for those uh, who are French are listening in countries so where we are on the same page as we all mean go on with the program. So Pretty will come here and uh, before she brings the guest to that will break for music, but I have to introduce her first as we go for a short musical break and then we'll have uh, the guest coming here to just uh, hear what you have uh, for us. Good morning. Morning, Mr. Kayumbo. How are you? I'm okay. How's the morning so far? Very fine. Yeah, it's nice that uh, we are here together this morning on yeah. this wonderful uh, program. And uh, now I'll leave you with your guest uh, so that you just uh, give us uh, what uh, you have prepared for us. But before that, we'll break for a short musical break. When we are back, uh, Freddy will be able to continue and give us what you have uh, prepared for us. <laughs> Yes. 
Jesus, Lamb of God. Holy, 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 my holy, 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 holy. I want to see you. Praise us, God, in our praise. Holy, 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 holy. Ça, c'est notre matin. Nous disons merci à Dieu pour tout ce qu'il a fait pour nous toute la nuit. Euh, sans plus tarder, ça, c'est French Program. Euh, nous recevons pour vous sur ce plateau euh, l'homme de Dieu, euh, le Bishop Enoch euh, Kabengela, euh, qui nous vient de l'église Fepaza euh, Church. Euh, oui, ce matin, nous allons recevoir la parole de Dieu euh, de la part de son serviteur sans plus tarder. Euh, je m'en vais saluer mon invité de ce matin. Euh, bonjour, pasteur. Bonjour, Bishop. Bonjour, ma soeur. Euh, oui, euh, aujourd'hui, nous disons merci à Dieu pour le souffle de vie et bientôt nous allons euh, recevoir le réma du Seigneur. Euh, je vous donne le temps euh, de prêcher la parole de Dieu. Merci bien, ma soeur. C'est une grande joie pour nous d'être reçus euh, sur ce plateau. Mm -hmm. C'est aussi une grâce de s'adresser à ce peuple nombreux mmh. qui nous suit en ce moment au travers le monde, mmh. pourquoi pas dans ce pays. Mmh. Nous nous devons à eux comme serviteurs de Dieu, mmh. appelés pour pouvoir parler de sa part mmh. et pour pouvoir affermir le cœur de tous ceux qui espèrent en l'éternel notre Dieu. Mmh. Le message que nous apportons à ce peuple nombreux qui nous suit aujourd'hui mmh. est intitulé « Lève-toi, prends possession de ta destinée. » Amen. « Lève-toi, prends possession de ta destinée. » C'est le message de ce jour que nous tirons évidemment du livre de Josué. Josué chapitre 1er. Nous allons lire le premier verset et le deuxième pour pouvoir introduire notre message. Nous lisons dans le livre de Josué au chapitre 1er, et la Bible dit, « Après la mort de Moïse, serviteur de l'Éternel, l'Éternel dit à Josué, fils de Nun, serviteur de Moïse, « Moïse, mon serviteur, est mort. Maintenant, lève-toi, par ce jour d'un, toi et tout ce peuple, pour entrer dans le pays que je donne aux enfants d'Israël. » Bien-aimés frères et sœurs, vous qui nous suivez, nous voudrions que vous compreniez quelque chose. D'abord, il est évident et connu de tous que le Seigneur qui avait appelé Abraham lui avait promis une postérité, une progéniture nombreuse qui devait se multiplier dans un pays qui n'était pas le leur, un pays où il devait être reçu d'abord comme de hôtes, mais plus tard, ils deviendront des esclaves dans le pays de l'Égypte. Mais comme la parole de Dieu ne peut jamais faillir, mm -hmm. l'Éternel qui avait dit à Abraham que ta progéniture, après quatre générations, moi l'Éternel, je me souviendrai 
de cette progéniture, je viendrai pour le sortir du pays de l'esclavage où ils seront. Amen. Et l'Éternel s'est souvenu de sa parole alors que Moïse était à la montagne dans le pays de Madian. Moïse rencontrera le Seigneur au travers d'une buisson ardente qui était en train de s'enflammer, mais qui ne se consumait pas. Alors l'Éternel qui a rencontré Moïse lui dira « J'ai entendu les pleurs de mon peuple, j'ai vu la souffrance qui lui font subir ses oppresseurs, moi l'Éternel, votre Dieu, je suis descendu. Mm » -hmm. Ça c'est Dieu qui dit « Je suis descendu mm. pour pouvoir délivrer ce peuple. » Et l'Éternel a envoyé Moïse avec un message puissant auprès du roi Pharaon, auprès de Pharaon, le roi de l'Égypte, mm -hmm. pour dire qu'il devait libérer le peuple d'Israël. Moïse, pour pouvoir confirmer sa mission auprès de Pharaon et auprès du peuple, il lui a été donné d'opérer de grands miracles. Amen. Et ce sont ce miracles qui ont amené le peuple d'Israël à comprendre qu'en réalité, il y a quelque chose qui se passe dans cet homme mm -hmm. et notre Dieu l'a rencontré Amen. et il envoie pour nous sortir. Amen. Écoutez, bien aimés frères et sœurs, Là, je voudrais tout simplement vous faire voir que l'Éternel a rencontré Moïse pour une destinée, mm -hmm. une destinée de son peuple. Amen. Cette destinée qui était de sortir mm -hmm. de l'esclavage pour un pays où coulait le lait et le miel. Amen. Un pays de verdure, mm -hmm. comme l'Éternel lui-même le dit dans sa parole. Mm -hmm. Et alors Israël est sorti sous la conduite de Moïse. Ils ont vu la main de Dieu. Mm -hmm. Par Moïse, mmh. la mer rouge s'est scindée en deux. Mmh. Ce peuple est passé par la mer mmh. sans bateau, sans navire. Mmh. Ils sont passés à sec. Dans le désert, mmh. ils ont vécu de grands miracles. Amen. Dieu pouvait donner de l'eau mmh. par Moïse Amen. au travers d'un rocher. Mmh. Une grénitude de sec pouvait donner de l'eau. Mmh. Et le peuple a bu. Mmh. Lorsque son peuple avait faim, l'Éternel pouvait demander... Que le pain descend du ciel mm -hmm. et le pain est descendu. Amen. Alors, c'est par ce miracle que le peuple s'est convaincu mm -hmm. qu'avec Moïse, mm -hmm. la destinée est réelle, nous devons entrer dans le pays de Canaan. Amen. Mais écoutez bien, mes frères et sœurs, au bout d'un certain temps, mm -hmm. alors que ce Moïse qui incarnait la mission, mm -hmm. qui incarnait la vision de la destinée, mm -hmm. Dieu le reprend alors que le peuple n'était pas encore entré dans le pays de la promesse. Mm -hmm. C'est là que le problème se pose. Mm. Ce peuple est resté là pendant 30 jours en train de pleurer Moïse. Mm. Il y en avait qui se disaient qu'est-ce que nous allons devenir Parce mm. que Moïse qui incarnait la destinée est décédé. Il est arraché à notre amour. Mm. Qu'est-ce que nous, nous allons devenir mm. C'est là que j'interviens. Pour dire au peuple de Dieu mm. qui nous suit ce matin, mm. un peuple qui est désemparé, mm. le peuple qui a de problèmes, mm. qui est peut-être au bord du désespoir, Amen. je viens aujourd'hui pour lui dire, mm. ce peuple-là doit savoir que la destinée du peuple d'Israël mm. n'était pas le désert. Amen. Lorsque Dieu a appelé Moïse mm. à la montagne dans le pays de Madian, mm. il n'a pas dit à Moïse, j'amènerai mon peuple dans le désert. Mm. Mais il lui a dit, j'amène mon peuple dans un pays où coule le lait et le miel. Amen. Je veux dire à quelqu'un ce matin, mm. quel que soit le désespoir qu'il accable, mm -hmm. que c'est que Dieu a dit sur toi, bien-aimé toi que me suis, mm. cela est réel, cela s'accomplira mm. certainement. Amen. Le peuple d'Israël se retrouvait dans le désert, là où le Seigneur n'avait pas dit qu'il serait. Mm. Parce que quand il a parlé à Moïse, il n'a pas dit que ce peuple irait dans le désert. Mm. Mais celui-même qui connaissait le chemin, mm. celui qui avait tracé le chemin, mm. au lieu d'amener le peuple par le raccourci mm. qui les amènerait par le pays de Philistin mm. jusque dans Cana, mm. le Seigneur a préféré prendre le contour et amener ce peuple dans le désert. Amen. Le désert, mm. c'est le milieu connu de Dieu lui-même. Mm. Le désert n'est pas la destinée finale de ce peuple, mm. mais c'est juste un parcours. Amen. Vous qui vivez de situations 
difficile. Mm. Vous qui languissez derrière mm. l'accomplissement de vos promesses, mm. je suis là aujourd'hui pour vous dire mm -hmm. que l'Éternel, notre Dieu, qui a dit des choses sur vous, lui qui vous a fait de promesses, tiendra sa parole et vous amènera réellement dans le pays de la destinée. Amen. Le désert n'est pas votre destinée. Mm. Le désert n'est pas le terminus de votre parcours. Amen. Votre parcours se terminera à l'endroit où l'Éternel a dit que mm. vous serez. Amen. Écoutez mes frères et sœurs, ce que je voudrais dire. Mm. Le peuple était désemparé mm -hmm. parce que celui auprès de qui Dieu avait confié le message de la délivrance mm. était mort. Mm. C'est-à-dire Moïse. Mm -hmm. Mais je veux dire ceci, ce Moïse qui est mort mm. et non la destinée Amen. du peuple de Dieu. Ce Moïse qui est mort, mm. ce Moïse qui est arraché, mm. Satan aura beau faire ce qu'il veut faire, il aura beau toucher mm. à tout le moyen que l'éternel mm. disposerait pour vous, mm -hmm. pour pouvoir accomplir mm. la mission, mm. pour pouvoir accomplir les promesses qu'il a faites sur vous, mm. mais Satan ne touchera jamais Ouh. et alors jamais mm. à votre destinée. C'est la vérité, Amen. Ce Moïse qui a été détruit, mm. mais ce n'est pas la promesse. Amen. Ce Moïse qui a été retranché, mm. mais non pas la destinée Amen. du peuple mm. de Dieu. Mm. Écoute-moi, bien aimé, vous que me suivez. Mm. Pendant que Israël était là, en train de pleurer, pendant 40 jours, mmh. plutôt pendant 30 jours, comme nous le dit Deutéronome 34, mmh. l'Éternel intervient pour dire à Josué, Moïse est déjà mort. Mmh. Arrêtez de plaire sur Moïse. Mmh. Il est déjà mort. Mmh. Il s'en est allé. Mais ce Moïse qui s'en est allé, pas non plus la destinée. Mmh. Je veux que quelqu'un comprenne mmh. aujourd'hui que le Satan, ton ennemi, mmh touché au moyen Amen. par lequel mm. l'éternel veut accomplir quelque chose dans votre vie. Mm. Il peut toucher mm. à votre travail. Mm. Il peut toucher même à votre frère mm. sur qui vous comptiez. Mm. Il peut toucher à votre père, à vos parents mm. sur lequel vous comptez peut-être pour les études. Il peut les anéantir. Mm. Mais Satan n'anéantira jamais mm -hmm. et alors jamais la destinée que l'éternel a pour vous. C'est très important que vous mm. puissiez comprendre. Mm. C'est pourquoi l'éternel intervient et il dit à Josué, Moïse, mon serviteur, est mort. Mm. Arrêtez le Jérémiade. Mm. Arrêtez de languir derrière la mort de Moïse. Mm. Votre travail, votre commerce mm. peut être touché par Satan. Mm. Il croira qu'en touche à votre commerce, il mettra fin à la destinée, mm. à la promesse de Dieu, mais jamais alors jamais, il ne détruira mm. votre destinée. Amen. Parce que la destinée se trouve entre les mains de l'éternel. C'est pourquoi d'ailleurs, si vous lisez, je, vous lisez Esaïe 40, Esaïe 40, la parole de Dieu dit « Pourquoi dis-tu, Israël, pourquoi dis-tu que ma destinée est inconnue de l'éternel et cachée devant le Seigneur Mon droit passe inaperçu devant mon Dieu. Ne le sais-tu pas Ne l'as-tu pas appris que l'éternel, le Dieu des armées, qui fait toutes choses, est capable de faire toutes choses Amen. Il donne la force à Amen. ceux qui sont fatigués. » La mm. destinée de chacun de vous qui me suivez en ce moment mm. n'est pas cachée devant l'éternel. C'est le diable qui pourra intervenir mm. pour pervertir la voie de Dieu, mm. mais il ne pourra jamais pervertir Amen. votre destinée. C'est pourquoi, mm. en définitive, mm. avant de pouvoir rendre le micro, mm. je voudrais que vous sachiez ceci. Je vous recommande à cette parole. Ton canard n'est pas passé. Mm. Ce Moïse qui est passé. Mm. L'éternel qui vous a fait de promesses. Il est fidèle Amen. et il est logiste. Amen. Il accomplira cela. Lève-toi seulement mm. avec le Seigneur. Mm. Va de l'avant. Pointe vers l'avant. Regarde tout droit devant toi. Le Seigneur est là. Mm. Parce que au même moment où le diable mm -hmm. détruit le moyen par lequel l'éternel avait pourvu de vous faire du bien, ma soeur, mm -hmm. à ce moment même, lorsque le premier moyen est détruit, mm -hmm. L'éternel le recommence et remet en place un autre moyen Amen. par lequel vous irez à la destination. Amen. De la même manière qu'il a fait pour Israël, mm. Moïse était détruit mm -hmm. et au même moment, l'éternel 
a mis en place Josué mm -hmm. qui devait comment continuer la mission. Mm -hmm. Alors, l'exhortation de ce jour mm -hmm. voudra tout simplement dire à tous ceux qui nous suivent mm -hmm. que la destinée est intacte. C'est Moïse qui est mort, mm -hmm. mais non ta destinée. Mm -hmm. Au moment où le diable détruit le moyen par lequel le Seigneur veut vous bénir, mm -hmm. le Seigneur met en place un autre moyen pour accomplir sa destinée en votre faveur. Soyez bénis de l'éternel, mm -hmm. prenez courage, levez-vous avec le Seigneur, allez droit vers le but, la destinée est intacte pour chacun de vous. Amen, amen, chers téléspectateurs. Oui, là, c'était la parole de Dieu avec euh, l'homme de Dieu puissant, euh, le bishop euh, Enoch euh, Kabengela, qui nous vient de l'église euh, Fepa euh, C'est bien de commencer votre journée avec Dieu. Euh, là, euh, je dis merci à vous tous euh, qui nous avez suivis ce matin. Oui, euh, laisse-moi faire euh, une petite petite récapitulation. Le message du jour a été tiré du livre de Josué 1, chapitre 1, verset 1 à 9. Et là, l'homme de Dieu nous a dit, hein, euh, le diable peut tout toucher dans votre vie, mais il ne pourra jamais toucher euh, votre destinée. Amen, euh, oui, ça c'est quel Amen. message, euh, un message prophétique ce matin, un message d'encouragement. Donc, euh, ne zappez pas, nous continuons notre programme. Euh, là, je dis aussi merci euh, à mon papa, l'apôtre Stan Fauci, Fita ainsi que sa chère épouse euh, Mama Joyce Chifita, euh, merci pour cette opportunité euh, que vous m'avez donnée. Euh, je dis aussi euh, merci à papa. Euh, Papa euh, Jano, et là je dis au revoir, je remets la parole à mon confrère Kayombo. Oui, monsieur Kayombo. Thank you, Victoria. Yeah. That was a wonderful message uh, for coming from the man of God. Who came to give us a wonderful message in French and I hope people out there are blessed with the message. They're still watching a daylight morning uh, live show. It comes to you every Saturday from 07.30 to 10 hours. And uh, this morning we are looking at uh, selfishness, uh, which is the attitude of being concerned with one's own interest above the interest of others. And today we are quoting from the books of uh, Philippians 2, uh, verse 2 to 4. And the book says, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of cons conceit. Uh, uh, sorry, in spirit and of one mind. Do not do, do nothing out of a selfish ambition or vain conceit, rather in humility, value others above yourselves and not looking to your own interest, but each of you to the interest of others. And this morning, we're going to build on this as we go on with uh, the program. Senior, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you very much. Indeed, uh, that was so good. Uh, our, our sister here, Victoria, with the um, men of God, I believe that was okay. so touching. Even though I couldn't get some of the ways, but I, I was getting some one one ways because okay. of being a Victoria and I'm a little bit familiar with French. So that was great. Okay. Yeah. And uh, this morning, I think this morning, or that rather this Today, we want to do something different by inviting young people, young people who are doing something, uh, you know, uh, interesting and inspiring, so that they are able to share with us um, just what they are doing and also, you know, know how we can uh, get in touch with them, just so that we are able to appreciate what our young people in this country are doing. So I'm joined by uh, Bernard and um, Tare, uh, coming from uh, Ngomu Solutions. So they are going to just help us uh, discuss a number of uh, things that they are doing, uh, what solutions they are providing, and which problems are there for them to provide such as uh, saying that they're giving solutions. So just find out from them uh, what uh, you know things they're involved in, so that we are able to you know, understand and also appreciate their efforts. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, viewers. I was hoping that they also see the other man also in glasses. I'm told those who put on glasses are geniuses. So what's happening to our brother there? <laughs> we rarely put on glasses. The wise people don't put on glasses. Yes, but he rarely puts them on. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. No, welcome uh, to the Revelation TV. Thank, Thank you very much. Yes. You're coming from Gomu Solutions. Yes. So I want to understand which problems are there for you to provide uh, those solutions that you are uh, 
are saying Ngong solutions. Okay. And what is Ngong, first of all? Can you uh, just you know, break down the Ngong solutions and then uh, tell us uh, what problems are, are there which are providing solutions? Okay. Yes. For, for starters, uh, Ngong is uh, a mixture of two names. Okay. My name, which is Ngomi, mm -hmm. and Mtai. So we just got the first uh, letters and we came up with Ngomu solutions. Okay. Basically what we deal with is um, we are into satellite dishes. Okay. Yes, satellite dishes. We offer the technical part of it. We do the installations mm -hmm. of the satellite dish, any satellite. If you have a problem with your satellite, we offer the solutions. You can contact us on uh, our numbers, okay. yes, which is 0977-793639 or 0977-709867. We also do uh, plasma warm -hooking. yes, that's on the, um, the satellite part, but we've got more other solutions for different other situations. My colleague will take it up from there. Okay. Yes. Can you help us understand yes. other services? Yes, as in Gomu solution, Solutions, we offer other services as, uh, such as uh, painting. Mm -hmm. uh, we have carpenters who can do a good job with uh, your carpentry. We have plumbers. We also do, uh, if you have a problem, with problem with your computers. Mm -hmm. Yes, we've got uh, technicians who can work on your computers, be it software or hardware, mm -hmm. whichever. We, we offer solutions to a lot of problems out there. Okay. Yes. And so far, is the the business environment? Is it uh, favorable to young people like you to, co to conduct business? And I uh, know how conducive the environment is out there when you're doing the business. And no, outside. Outside. And, and, and also, maybe the response that you know you're getting from uh, the customers yes. and that are seeking your services. No, the the, the business environment is uh, favorable. It's just the way you, you take your business out there, how you conduct yourselves to, to clients. The same clients are the ones who are advertising for you. So the more you do good jobs, the more honest you are, the more efficient you are, the you, more the clients, the more are the clients to refer you to, their, yes. to the people, other people that they know. Yes, yeah. yeah. so it's, uh, you do it the first time and do it the best. Yes, okay. you do your best the first time. Then the client is going to appreciate you, whereas they are going to even refer you to other people. Mm -hmm. Oh, this service you've given me, I think even my colleague can also want the same service. Mm -hmm. So you find that it's an ongoing process. Mm -hmm. And our aim is to empower, we want to empower the young entrepreneurs out there. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. that's why we've incorporated all these other uh, categories. Okay. Yes. So we also have builders, plumbers, and all. Yes. Okay. Yes. So maybe the youth out, out there, well, there is a fair type of attitude where you give them something to do. Okay. They are skilled young people. You give them something to do, but the moment you give them money, okay, down payment, they will come after that. That uh, down payment is finished to come and uh, you know, uh, conduct or finish off uh, the job. So. Just mm -hmm. your advice to such type of young okay. people who, after you, you know, you, you give them money, they disappear. They come after that money is finished, and then maybe some, you might go to the same person to, for the same business. Yes. Then that person will base his judgment based on what that they other, Yes. So maybe. You okay. Advise. I think on that one, it's not just the young people, even the um, the older people, because I have seen. Even on the media last time, they were talking about Zambian contractors. Like they are given a tender. When they are given the down payment, instead of them utilizing that payment to buy material and reach a certain point, they first want to buy cars and other things before they even start the work. Okay. So the work tends to stall. Now, advice to mostly the young people is when you are given something to do, first of all, have the heart to carry out that thing. Yes, whatever you are given, have the heart. Treat that thing as though it's your personal thing. How you expect someone to do it for you? Because if you just do it, ah, no, it's just for the sake of me getting the money. 
then you end up doing a wrong thing. And what you do won't be of quality and of, of good standard. In the end, the client starts complaining. And once the client starts complaining, then they'll be telling uh, their colleagues the negative part. Instead of referring you to, they say, ah, that one, ah, if you give him this job, he won't do a good one. So you end up losing on clients. But if you do it the best way, then you are, you are assured that you're going to have a lot of clients. So I should you are saying the attitude among the us Zambians is what sets us apart from those who are coming from outside. Yes. Because there have been a cry that, no, most of these uh, contracts are given, given to, to foreigners. foreigners. Yes. yes. So is, is it, they're saying now, it's the attitude towards yes, work. Yes, it's the attitude towards The Zambian work. attitude towards okay. work. Look at the Chinese. You are told, work. for example, if you are told, um, be here at seven hours, we, you, we want you to, let's say, install a dish. Then you come at 7.15. Then instead of you carrying out that uh, that thing, you need to drill. Then I find you, you are live in the studio. How am I going to start drilling? I can't drill because I would disturb your program. So in that way, one, I've already lost out on time. So it would mean that the work is now postponed to, to, a, to a, later, a later date. Okay. Yes. So time management is also matters. Okay. Yes, so and, the, and the attitude. So maybe you can give them advice, hope that, you know, let's have developed that positive attitude towards work so that, you know, we become competitive. Because you know, I've seen most of the contracts that like in the road sector, I find that the Zambian contractor is given a contract to carry out works. But like he said, okay, instead of, uh, you know, investing into maybe buying what is needed, the first thing they think of is buying maybe the X5, a jail and everything. And then by the time that contract, uh, the period uh, end, it lapses, there's nothing to show. And yet no, now, asking for extensions. when they give to another person from outside, there's that cry that, no, Zambian uh, people are not being what, empowered to carry out uh, uh, this work. So maybe your advice, to those who are watching, and have that specific type of attitude, okay. where when they get paid, okay, they, they forget about where that money is coming from and what it's supposed to be uh, used for. Yes, um, I would, I'd urge my fellow youths to be serious with what they do. Um, they should be, they should concentrate on the job that they are, they've been given to do and uh, make sure they do it with all their hearts. Like the way we, we work at Ingomu Solutions, we start in the morning at 7, we knock off at 22 hours until we are done with at least the last client, or if we still have the, uh, other clients, we forward them to the later day, to, for, for example, another day. So let's, let's change our attitude, yes. Okay. So maybe before we end, okay, there are those who are watching out there, okay, then they are saying they want to get in touch with you, like to meet you physically, to have like a fixed abode, the office where they can come, you know, they find you say, okay, we're going to find them at this place. Maybe they want to collaborate with you and see how we can help them. And maybe they want to learn how to install set right dishes, how to do all sorts of what you are, you are doing. So now, how do they get in touch with you? Oh, okay. Um, we, we have a makeshift office at the moment. Uh, it's in Woodlands, Elm Road, 60, house number 63, or Kapwata Site and Service. Oh, you can just catch us on, on mobile phones at the moment, yes. Um, you can also email us. Uh, my email is mmumba22 at yahoo.com. Or you can call 0977 709867. You can also WhatsApp on that line. You can also call him on 0977 793639 and also WhatsApp him. Okay. He's also he'll, he'll give you his email address, and um, we are also on social media. Okay. Yes, you can catch us on on Facebook, uh, Skype. We'll, we'll give you more, more more details as we we expand our company. Okay. Yes. Then maybe there's there are people are experiencing problems with them. signal issues where it's cut, it starts, it cuts, it starts. Are you able to fix such type of problems? Yes. Okay. One, we first have to know what type of decoder mm -hmm. 
what type of satellite they are using. Yes, that's when now we can offer a solution. Okay. You have to, we have to see the actual, the physical or decoder. We see what it's saying there. If it's no signal or maybe access is uh, not accessible, then we offer advice on that part. Okay. Yes, because mostly we are in the field. Okay. Yes, so the best uh, way one can catch us mm -hmm. is to, through our mobile phones. Yes. It's the last time, just give him your number. Before okay. We, yeah. Okay. Our mobile lines are 0977 793639 or 0964-693639. 0967-70-98667. Okay. Same number on nine five five. Okay. Yes. No, thank you for, for coming and I hope the viewers have uh, you know heard and gotten your contacts and we just hope that soon after you, you leave the studio you start getting those phone calls so that to help uh, you know provide uh social support that they uh, that they have. So wish you all the best as you go in the field and also as you carry on with your work. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for hosting us. You're also welcome. This is a morning delight uh, show, and we had uh, Mr. Donald and Mr. Mutare from Ngomu Solutions. who just came to just tell us what uh, they are doing, uh, not to, to just help uh, solve your problems regarding sector dishes, construction, and other uh, things that they are able to, to do for you. And just encourage young people out there, like they said, that let's develop a positive attitude towards work. Let's not have a lazy type of uh, attitude where. You're given a job to do, given down payment, then you disappear. Just, then just show up after that money is finished. Because if you want to get more contracts from uh, within our country, let's develop a positive attitude towards work and then we seem to be serious. Because at the moment, people on complain to say, no, people are coming from outside and they're getting uh, contracts on behalf uh, in the examiners. But the thing that we forget is that our attitude towards work is something that we should work on. And uh, this morning we're still looking at uh, selfishness that like I mentioned there op during the opening is uh, the attitude of being concerned with one's own interest above uh, the interests of uh, others. And we are quoting from the book of uh, Philippians 2, uh, chapter 2, verse 2 to 4. And the book, the Bible reads, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit, and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain. Conceive. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interest, but each of you to the interest of others. And uh, before we introduce our guests, also who have come in, and also explain to us what they are doing uh, you know, to, innovate, to do some new innovations in this country. We will first break for a short musical break. When we come, I'll be able to introduce uh, the guests that we have and uh, that's uh, for them to explain what innovations they have uh, you know, come up with and as far as uh, car security is uh, concerned. Stay tuned. i 
just read through even as a uh, topic for discussion today is uh, selfishness. Uh, selfishness is that attitude of being concerned with one's own interests above the interests of others and selfishness leads to disorder and every evil practice. Taken from the book of James chapter 3 verse 14 to 16 it says 
But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your heart, do not be arrogant and so lie against the truth. This wisdom is not that which comes down from above, but it is earthly, natural, demonic. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder and every evil thing. Well, just now I'll hand over to Mr. Lamdi Kayombo as he interviews our guests who are on the panel just now. Thank you, Senior. Uh, we are joined uh, by uh, two gentlemen here, two innovative mm -hmm. gentlemen, uh, Isaac and uh, Elijah Chifita, who are coming from uh, ITC Design and are going to just uh, tell us the nature of things they are doing as well as uh, the designs that they have uh, come up uh, with. So, welcome to the program, gentlemen. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank you very much, Mr. This is Mr. Isaac Chifita. I said, yeah. one is Elijah Chifita. Elijah Chifita. It's good to, to have you in the studios this morning. It's, good to, be here. it's good to be here as well. Yes. <laughs> so I'm just to start with, tell us about ITC uh, Design. Okay, well, ITC Designs, currently we are a company that deals with control systems. Okay. Yeah, let me just elaborate further on control systems. Mm -hmm. A control system is a, a device that is designed to monitor, to manage, and to give commands to other devices and other systems. I would give an example like in the manufacturing industry, we have companies like the Zambian breweries, mm -hmm. as they are producing all those drinks and alcohol, all those things. Mm -hmm. Maybe those machine or their system needs to be monitored. Maybe after a certain number of production, of produced uh, parts, maybe, or produced bottles, maybe let's say 1,000, the machine must go for maintenance. So we, we can design devices that can control that, counting the number of, of bottles that are processed. After they are processed, once it reaches 1,000, it gives a command to the machine to stop, to stop manufacturing or stop producing. And once uh, the production is stopped, it also notifies the people so that they can come in and service the machines. Okay. Another example it gives in the agricultural industry, for example, like irrigation systems, in case maybe you, you want to design an irrigation system, it can be designed in such a way that you yourself don't have to be turning it on and off. Mm -hmm. It can be, we can design a, a system or a, a control system that can basically monitor the system for you, mm -hmm. an irrigation system. Maybe at 12 o'clock you want to activate the, the irrigation system. The, the device actually has a time, it can keep time. Mm -hmm. 12 o'clock it activates the system. Maybe it will run for an hour or so, it deactivates it, it notifies you on the happenings, what's happening. Okay. That's what we are into, that's the nature of business we are into. Okay. Yes. So now you said you are doing control uh, systems. Yes, control systems. Which can be used to control uh, yes, They can uh, control, machine. they can manage yes, machinery or other systems. Okay. That's what they do. Okay. Apparently right now we have designed two. The first one of design is in the automotive industry. It is a, a car alarm system. We call it the ACAS GSM alarm system. Mm -hmm. What it basically does is that you use your mobile phone mm -hmm. to turn the car off and on. Okay. Yes, so it has three, three features. The first feature is, for instance, like when you've parked your car at home in the night, mm -hmm. maybe you're afraid that people might come and, and steal your, mm -hmm. your car. So it so happens that when you've parked your car, when it's a stationary position, you just call it. Once you call it, it deactivates the engine. No matter what someone can come and do, try and start the car, it won't start. Mm -hmm. That's the first feature that we've embedded in the car. Okay. The second feature is, once you've activated it like that, in that state when it's parked, when someone opens the doors, mm -hmm. it will notify you through, through phone call. Okay. Yes, it will send you a call notifying that someone is tampering with you, with your car, mm -hmm. yes. So the third feature that we've embedded inside, is sort of like on the company side, it's the tracking side we as a company in case because it's a preventive measure mm -hmm. the gadget we've designed is to prevent thieves from from stealing your property but in case it is stolen us as a company we've put in a measure that we are able to obtain the car we're able to track it down because it uses the the mode of gsm sim card so we just track the sim card and we can notify you as the company on where your car is okay. yes so now suppose someone steals the car maybe uh, you park your car without switching it off, switching it off someone yes. just drives off and uh, goes with it are you able to deactivate the engine while it's, uh, it's moving? Yes, while it's in motion, you are able to do so. You, because we have designed it in such a way that it is up to you to tell us mm -hmm. how many numbers you want to activate that alarm system or deactivate it. 
it can be maybe your wife's number, your your number as well. Even us as a company, mm -hmm. we have a number for security purposes in case you are hijacked mm -hmm. as well in the car. So us as the company, through communications maybe with the authorities or policemen, we can we can simply turn the car off. Okay. Yes. So whether it's in motion or it's not in motion, the car will turn off. Okay. Yes. Once you call it. Okay. So now maybe try to uh, to elaborate more. Okay. You mentioned that can deactivate the engine. Yes. So that if someone tries to switch it on, it can't uh, go on. It can on. go on, yes, it can And then you mentioned that if someone tries to temper with the, the door, the doors, yes. The sense, it, it, it causes, it causes you, yes. it notifies you, yes. that uh, something is uh, wrong. Someone, yes, someone is tempering with your door, yes, okay. that's what it does. Now, what if someone tries to temper with you know, those ignitions, the wires below? Yes. The, yes. No, what no. happens? I think it, it still won't start. Because in the first place, once you have activated it, the moment he opens the doors, mm -hmm. it will call you. So by the time he's even trying to temper with all those ignition wires and everything, it won't start. Because okay. we have designed the gadget in such a way that it's not connected to the mm -hmm. ignition wires. No matter what he tries to do, once it's cut off, it's cut off. Okay. So in the process, while he's still trying to ignite those ignition wires, mm -hmm. the gadget is actually calling you. Maybe you can quickly come rushing and try and also prevent your, your car from being stolen or preventing from finding the gadget. Okay. Yes. Now suppose, uh, okay now, away from, uh, from that, uh, at how commercial is it? Uh, have you started to manufacture for yes. if someone wants to, to have the system installed in the car? If I, I was to say, give it to me now, are you able to install it? Or maybe uh, you just have the design, you finish doing the the one you have and then maybe are you doing more yes because we are we are actually taking it on on industrial scale we're enlarging okay. yes because uh, right now when someone wants the gadget you need to at least notify us we place an order for you because what what we mean what i mean by placing an order is that we simply have to look at the specifications mm -hmm. of your car because each and every gadget you must design it in a way that it must suit your your vehicle so we need to look at your car. Then for, I think, seven days. Mm -hmm. After seven days, we come and we install the gadget into your car. Okay. That's how it works. Okay. Now, Mr. Raj, tell me about uh, Kera, the home uh, system, the one that uh, you designed to protect uh, households. You just also try to explain uh, how that, that system works. OK, the Kera GSM alarm system, it's basically for housing and commercial buildings, residential and commercial buildings. So what it does is that when inset, inserted in your building, like when installed in your building, it monitors movement around your building. So you can insert it whether is it outside the house or inside the house. So what it does is that in, it uses, it's also connected to your phone. So the moment you activate it by a phone call, and your car is parked outside of the parking lot because mostly when you're parked at home at night, people come and steal tires, they come and steal side mirrors and everything. Mm -hmm. So the moment you activate the safety feature, in case someone jumps into your yard and starts walking towards your car, it will notify you by a form of phone call to let you know that no, there's an object, there's a large object that is moving towards your car. So you'll be able to wake up and actually get to your car and you know, try and prevent your car from being stolen or tires and everything being taken. Or we can also install it inside the house depending on the rooms you want it to be installed in. Yeah, because our system, like the same device, once it's installed in your house, one circuit board can take up to eight sensors. It takes up to eight sensors. So if you want more than that, then we'll have to install another circuit board to monitor other rooms. So that's how it works. It normally prevents, like as in, house break-ins and thefts in houses and everything. Because even here, I came with a sample of the same thing. So all these things, it's basically designed by us. Okay. This is a circuit board. Everything is started from scratch. Everything that is inserted, even the program and everything, will just be inserted by us. Yeah, so that's how it works. So how, how affordable? Uh, affordable the system because they seem to be provide maximum security to your households, uh, companies, and also the vehicles like uh, my brother has mentioned. 
Now, how affordable are the two systems that you have uh, elaborated? Okay, I think let me go first. Uh, as for the GSM, the Akas alarm system, for that one, uh, the installation is 3,500. Okay. That is, it includes purchase of the device and the installation fee as well. Okay. Yes, and then there is also a monthly subscription that you need to be paying, which is 300. That is to keep you connected to the server. Okay. Yes, our server, so that we can be able to track it in case it is, it is lost, and also for the calls and the cutting off of the system and everything. That's how it works. Those are the prices. And then as for the Kayla alarm system that he said, we price according to how many sensors you have. But for instance, like he said, this sample one, this is the circuit board we have designed. If we were to give you with one sensor only, mm -hmm. that will only be 2,500. Okay. So the moment we add on another sensor to it, that will be 500 plus one top. Okay. So if you add three more sensors, it's 500 times three, mm -hmm. add it onto the 2,500. Mm -hmm. Yes, so these sensors, this one is just basically one from 3 to 7 meters, but we can install maybe from 3 to 18 meters. It's up to you, depending on also the space you want to, you want to secure. Okay. It also has a, a monthly fee also, mm -hmm. which is 150. Once you're using the, the GSM, once if you want it to be connected to your mobile phone. Mm -hmm. But uh, we also design, in such cases, if you don't want it to be connected to the mobile phone, you can just assign it to an alarm also. Okay. It's up to you. you. You are the customer. You tell us what you wanted. We design it for you. Okay. Yes. Then you mentioned the installation of recovery in case the vehicle is stolen. Yes. So are you working with law enforcement agencies uh, on that aspect? Maybe let's say the vehicle is in Ndola, stops, mm -hmm. then maybe you are in Osaka. Now that period of you traveling to Ndola, maybe are you working with uh, maybe law enforcement agencies or other security companies just to ensure that maybe if your car is in stop? There are people outside who are able to contact to help you uh, recover that year. Yes, okay. So, one, uh, we are looking here at it is the client who has the authority to stop the car and the company. Okay. The client is the one who has first preference. Okay. You get my point. So, us as a company, he can only communicate to us once he has failed to stop the vehicle. Okay. But if the client can manage to stop the vehicle and maybe communicate with the police, because that's why we're advertising here. It's, it's sort of like a way of also helping out the police, mm -hmm. reduction in crime. So if we can all work together, mm -hmm. I think we can come with a better solution on how to reduce the crime rate in the country. Mm -hmm. So as for now, we are, we are not uh, working with any uh, security company or retrieving company, okay. but we are just into tracking and preventing your, your things from being stolen. Okay. So how can yeah. people... Uh, basically, let me. I just want to touch on to the tracking part. Mm -hmm. Is that the moment the car is in motion, wherever it's turned off from, the moment it's turned off, whether it's in dollar, it sends you a text message to tell you that it's turned off, and it also sends you the coordinates of where the car is. Okay. So that way, it's easy to locate it. You don't have to like as in wonder where your car is and everything. The moment it sends you the coordinates, even if you're contacting the the police service. You can tell them, no, I've deactivated my vehicle and it's at such and such coordinates. Then they can be able to locate it, locate it quicker. Okay. So that's how it works. Okay. Yeah. Maybe how can people get in touch uh, with in case I want to get the uh, two alarm systems? Oh, okay. We, we have our numbers. I think you can call the company number. The number is 0955-388-468. I'll repeat it once more, 0955. 388-468, that is our number, and he has the other number also as well. Uh, the other one you can contact us on is 096-278-6928. Okay. So that, those are the numbers to contact in case you want any of our gadgets or even services. We do provide services, like the ones he was mentioning, like to commercial and corporate buildings and everything manufacturing, be it agriculture, mining, we can do all that. Even control systems, if you want us to design a control system for you, yeah. feel free. Just yeah, to call you. Call that system should be installed at my house. That's <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 No, we as shall we do so if so, uh, you meet the demands. Yes, no, as you go, please, you can ask for directions from somewhere out, out there and they will go and install the system. We shall, we, shall, we shall do so for you. Thank you, Thank you for coming. Thank Jamie. you very much, Mr. Gaiman. Thank you very much. This is a Delight uh, Morning uh, Live show.
and I was talking to Elijah and Isaac Ashvita coming from ITC design you were just telling us about the car and the alarm system that uh, the car and home uh, the alarm system that they have come up with and uh, giving you their numbers you able to just get in touch with them and have your, your house secured and also your, your car protected. Senior. Yes, indeed, our viewers are still watching Delight Morning Live show that comes to you uh, every Saturday from 7.30 hours to 9.30 hours. Today on Delight Morning Live show, we're talking about uh, selfishness, which is defined as it's that attitude of being concerned with one's own interests above the interests of others. And uh, taken from the portion of scripture Bible verse, Philippians 2, verse 2 to 4, which says, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, rather in humility value others above yourself, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. So our topic of discussion today is short selfishness, and I believe that by the end of this program we shall learn and you'll be able to, you know, live a, a selfless life in the name of Jesus. Over to you, Mr. Lovely. Thank you, Senior. I think the topic uh, this morning is very interesting. And as we go on with the program, we're able to break down uh, whatever is mentioned in the scripture that you just uh, read. Yes. Because sometimes we do not, uh, you know, realize that we're being uh, selfish in the way we act and the way we do a certain thing. And, yes. uh, it's very important that we put our interests, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, not above other people's interests. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's be, you know, that's objective and fair in the way we are doing our, our thing. Mm -hmm. Because like the Bible is saying here is that, you know, we have to, uh, to make my joy complete by being like minded, okay? So we have to make God uh, joy by being uh, like minded and having the same love being in one spirit and of one mind. Mm. And I think also as we go on, let's try to avoid, you know, such uh, things of uh, us you know, putting our interest above other people's interests. So, you know, in, in as far as we go on with our daily chores, let's put the interest of others, you know, first before we put ours uh, uh, first. And uh, before I introduce my guest this morning, we're going to break for a short musical break. And uh, when we come back, we're going to now to just expand on the scripture that we just read, which is Philippians 2, uh, verse 2 to 4. I'll hand over to Lawrence and just give us a piece of music before I introduce my guest. Let it flow. 
Delight Morning Live coming to live on Revelation TV, the channel that is all about delivering God's people, that is all about setting God's people free. Even as our topic uh, for discussion today is selfish, being that attitude of being concerned with one's own interest above the interest of others. Well, uh, with us in the studio, we are being joined by Prophet uh, Bennett. Who is just going to also elaborate more on uh, the topic of discussion that we have for you right here on Delight Morning Life, which is uh, selfishness. Prophet Bennett, you're welcome. Thank you. Welcome, viewers. Yes, uh, this is Prophet Bennett, who is just going to also uh, elaborate more on selfishness. Well, Prophet, today we're talking about uh, selfishness. Okay. Yes, and as a man of God, how do you uh, look at selfishness? Uh, selfishness mm, simply means. Um, what can I put it in this way? Where you have something, for example, instead, in another way, in inability to help one another or help someone, but uh, you keep something to yourself. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. uh, you have something. Your friend is starving, sort of helping that particular person. Mm -hmm. You even eat in their presence. Like mm -hmm. an example of uh, the rich man, 
and Lazarus, the poor man. Mm -hmm. The rich man had everything in life that was able even to help the whole world. But Lazarus could bake from the table of the rich man just to eat whatever was falling from the, from the rich man's table. That was the sign of selfishness. Mm -hmm. And in our time today, even our Christian circle the, in the, the world sector, we found that selfishness has grown so big, even in the church. Mm -hmm. It has grown. Mm -hmm. Today, Christians, they are failing to be open to another Christian because the Christian uh, will be unable to support one another. Mm -hmm. But you found that even unbelievers, let me give an example like, this is Liberation TV. Mm -hmm. It's a free to air uh, Christian channel. Mm -hmm. And the people that should come on board are Christians. Mm -hmm. Plus, come on board are men of God mm -hmm. to come and support the work of God. Mm -hmm. But you found that the people that majority of the people that can come on board and support or are partners are unbelievers. Mm -hmm. Because it is in, in somebody's heart to say, if I support, what will be my gain? Mm -hmm. If I go in on board, is it my channel? Mm -hmm. This is not part of my ministry. Mm -hmm. So selfishness simply means inability to help once, but to keep things for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, indeed. Um, uh, we've a lot of portion of scriptures here, and I would love to question you on one of the uh, scriptures that we have. Okay. I'll just read uh, Matthew 9, verse 21, 22, which says that uh, selfishness causes a rich young ruler to turn back on Jesus. What's your take on that? On this one, all I can say is it's something like to devote to or caring on oneself. Mm -hmm. So when you look at selfishness, um, like the way the scripture is elaborate over it. Mm. You look at if somebody selfish mm. cannot able to praise God well. You mm. can't even worship God. Mm -hmm. Selfishness enables people to be proud, to be boastful. Mm -hmm. Even in terms, for example, of worship, you want everybody to be, to be noticing. I'll give an example like a long time ago when in ministry, when you are going to church, you go a little bit late. Mm -hmm. And then you have to make sure that when everybody is quite seated, mm -hmm. you want everybody's attention to live up to you. Mm -hmm. And if somebody cannot appreciate you, you're going to say they are jealous. Mm -hmm. So selfishness enables people, one, to become jealous of others. Mm -hmm. Selfishness enables people even to kill. Mm -hmm. You can even kill. Because when you find someone is progressing, mm -hmm. instead of you to appreciate that particular person, you're going to say, this one cannot overtake me. I have to do something. Mm -hmm. So in other way, this is what the Bible talks about. Uh, for example, like in uh, if, uh, Philippians mm -hmm. chapter 2, mm -hmm. it talks about something that is very, very good. Fulfilling the love, mm -hmm. not of on oneself, mm -hmm. meaning I have to be open to everybody. Mm -hmm. I have to, to have time to appreciate one another. The moment I began to have, to have a self-centered mind, self mind mm -hmm. I cannot worship God. I cannot praise God. Mm. Even when I see you progressing today, mm. I'll say, how come she progress? Mm -hmm. I have been a Christian for 20 years, mm -hmm. but this one just comes today, and this one is progressing. Mm. So because of that, I'll find any other ways of bringing that particular person down mm -hmm. from worshiping God. Mm -hmm. And that's how I can explain about it. Mm -hmm. What causes uh, mostly you find that nowadays, looking at it at a general point of view, mm -hmm. nowadays it's not like uh, only uh, if, uh, people who are in the world who don't mm -hmm. know God are the only ones that are selfish. But nowadays it's unfortunate that you even find even Christians yeah. do really portray uh, selfishness. What mm -hmm. is really the cause of uh, most Christians portraying selfishness? I think uh, not understanding well of the word of God. Mm -hmm. Because once you're born again, you have to understand that you can allow 90 degree to God. Mm -hmm. And then everything that belongs to you is no longer yours. It's mm -hmm. God's because it's the author and finish of our faith. So because of not understanding it well, mm -hmm. in the Christian sector, you discover that as a Christian, like for example, our brother is worshiping God. He's mm -hmm. talented into that. Instead mm -hmm. of me uh, going to him and appreciate and support the ministry that God has put inside him, mm -hmm. are able to say, mm, this one can, this one do, I can't do. And because of that, I've opened the door for the enemy mm -hmm. to have access into me. Mm -hmm. And if you have access into my life, you'll be able to control me and I'm able to affect people negatively. Mm -hmm. So what is causing this to happen in the church? Mm -hmm. 
is inability to find time mm -hmm. to reflect over our life mm -hmm. and who are we in Christ. Mm -hmm. Because if I discover who I am in Christ, I discover, no, me, uh, my position, I'm, I'm a prophet. Mm -hmm. I cannot despise a pastor. Mm -hmm. I cannot despise somebody who's not prophesying. Mm -hmm. I'll be able to encourage one another. And because of this, uh, uh, the word of God will be spread faster than we can notice. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Uh, um, prophet can uh, lack of identity cause someone to become selfish. Yes. In which way you just. Uh, if I've not identified myself, mm -hmm. it's very easy. Mm -hmm. Like I give an example. Mm -hmm. Let me give an example like I said it before. Mm -hmm. Our Father in the Lord, mm -hmm. Apostle Tan Fit Street, mm -hmm. God has given the vision mm -hmm. of uh, bring Liberation TV mm -hmm. in Zambia. Mm -hmm. Now it's open and free to air. Mm -hmm. Now because I don't have an idea, I don't have that grace mm -hmm. for me to have it mm -hmm. i'll be unable to support mm -hmm. because i've not discovered who i am mm -hmm. some like uh, if a, a chicken and um, a, an eagle mm -hmm. if a chicken gl begins to grow together with an eagle mm -hmm. or for example an eagle begins to grow with a chicken mm -hmm. just on the young if an eagle has not identified that an eagle must fly mm -hmm. that eagle cannot fly mm -hmm. not until you know who yourself is mm -hmm. i have to know if i'm a pastor mm -hmm. i have to i know if I'm a, I'm a prophet if i'm a evangelist if i am a i'm a i'm a, an apostle and i have to stick into that and because if i stick into that office i'll be able to help one another if i know my law in the church is an usher i should not dim, admire other people that are doing uh, a camel mm -hmm. i know that other people that are doing editing because that is their office and i have to stick to my office mm -hmm. and when you look at Jesus christ when he left the disciples uh, you discover there was a one particular time when Paul, when Peter began to, to sideline others and was rebuked publicly. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he wanted to go into astray. Mm -hmm. You see. And this is the reason why if I've not uh, discovered who I am, it's very, very easy to become selfish. Mm -hmm. It's very, very easy to despise others. It's very, very easy to have that self-centered mind mm -hmm. that it's only me, not others. Mm -hmm. And that can happen if I've not discovered who I am. Mm -hmm. Indeed, uh, that's uh, very touching indeed. Uh, so how can one uh, uh, eradicate selfishness? The most important thing is, like I said, number one is to know who you are. Mm -hmm. Number two is to discover even your father. You need to have a father in the Lord. Mm -hmm. There are difference between a father and a mentor. Mm -hmm. A mentor can be anyone. I can be a mentor to someone that is watching me right now. Mm -hmm. And the person is being encouraged. Mm -hmm. But I'm not a father to the person. Mm -hmm. A father is someone that can father you, can have access and speak to them mm -hmm. and open your life to them. But you cannot open your life to a mentor. Mm -hmm. Now, the moment I discover who I am and able to open up, there are things I cannot see by myself. Mm -hmm. A dark spot I cannot see, but someone will see. Mm -hmm. Like the Bible says, pride comes before the fall of man. Mm -hmm. There is something I cannot know. But there will be a sister out there, there will be a brother out there, there will be a man of God, but to call me and say, Sonny, sit down here. I have noticed you have started going astray. The way you used to be and the way you are, they are two different things. Mm -hmm. And then after they tell me, I have to sit down, mm -hmm. maybe 45 or one hour to reflect over my life, mm -hmm. how I used to be and how I am today. Mm -hmm. From that point, to be able to be helped, to learn away from selfishness. Mm -hmm. And if you discover yourself that uh, you are not happy, when others are progressing. You're not happy when others are moving well. Mm -hmm. You're not happy when others are beginning to worship and God is using them. Then you, you need to sit down and reflect back and work on your life before mm -hmm. it's too late. Mm -hmm. Indeed, that is uh, very powerful. Uh, coming from Prophet Bennett, I believe that you are viewers by the end of the day, even as we're going to be concluding on this uh, selfishness, you learn something and you're going to live a selfless life. Mr. Kayombo, what is it you say concerning our topic for discussion today? I think uh, as the Prophet has uh, rightly uh, uh, celebrated, mm -hmm. we need to love one another. Mm -hmm. Okay, Like we mentioned that we should not put our interest above other people's interest. Mm -hmm. Like uh, in the book of John, mm -hmm. uh, chapter 13, verse 34, which says, a new commandment I give to you, mm -hmm. that you love one another, even as I have loved you, that also love one another. Mm -hmm. So I think if we, we remove love from, you know, we remove love, that's where now selfishness comes in. Because if you love your brother, you love your neighbor, 
cannot, you know, like uh, Eli to mention, mm. that you have something, and you can even eat it in your presence, okay? Mm. Someone is starving, once uh, what you are eating, maybe you can just cut a, a small portion and give them to eat. Mm -hmm. But since the interest is about your hunger and to you know, sustain yourself, then someone else is starving. Mm. So you even finish eating, you know, food in someone's presence. Mm. And I think, like the Bible has said, you should love one another. And, uh, you know, like, just like he loves us all. Mm. So selfishness should not be something that people should even take pleasure and do. Because tomorrow you are selfish. And tomorrow you will need uh, something from the person that you, you know, you, you starved when you are having food uh, to eat. So we should love one another and put uh, our interests, not, uh, not, not, not above the interest of uh, people, but to put the interest of other people in you know, the first priority as we have something less them to give, to share, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, just make everyone around us you know, benefit and be happy. Mm -hmm. so, yes. Amen. Indeed, um, one example I would really, you know, uh, if I, I was to open the Bible, I would I'd look at the story of Jesus how Jesus uh, lived, the life that Jesus lived, he, he lived a selfless life. The fact that he sacrificed to die for us, if we can imagine to say, if Jesus Christ was selfish, he said, okay, these people are sinning, these people are, are, are doing all sorts of bad things, then why should I die for them? If you're selfish enough to say, why should I die for them? Okay, let them go ahead and perish and live a life full of uh, sin and curse upon their lives. But Jesus is a perfect example of living a selfless life because he laid his life for us. He sacrificed and he died for us on the cross of Calvary. That's just an example of how we should live as Christians. Even as uh, the Bible tells us in John chapter 3, verse 6, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So the fact that, you know, Jesus Christ, made that step he sacrificed you know to die for us and to just to see to say that today we live a life uh, full of freedom a life full of uh, you know peace I believe that that's the example that we should really consider in life yes I think I mentioned yesterday that we need to you know emulate the traits that God has which is love uh, light and also the word so if we live God life again it can help also help us to you know to to avoid uh, being selfish because if you have love in you, mm -hmm. you are able to, you know, put yourself in the shoes of someone who is in need. Okay? Mm -hmm. And if you, are, if you are able to give, like the Bible says that you should never come mm -hmm. for, to ask for help. Mm -hmm. And you have what that person wants. Don't say come tomorrow or come later. Give them there and then if you have it, you give. Do not say no. You come after two hours, come tomorrow, come next one. Yet you have what uh, that person wants. Mm -hmm. So, also, so let's put that in mind that if we are able to help people mm -hmm. and we have what uh, that person wants, let's not give excuses. You know, you come after one hour. And yet, what they want is actually maybe even we have been holding it in hand. Mm -hmm. So, let's love one another and avoid uh, being uh, selfish. Mm -hmm. I mean, indeed, our viewers, we are still talking about selfishness and we still have uh, Prophet Bernard still with us right here in the studios coming to you live and direct on Revelation TV. Uh, Prophet, uh, got several questions to ask, still asking. And, uh, concerning Psalms chapter Psalm 78, verse 18, uh, saying selfishness causes the children of Israel to willfully put God to the test by demanding the food they craved. What is your take on uh, this portion of scripture? Uh, like the way if we look at it, um, like selfishness can enable you to forget everything that God has done mm -hmm. into your life. The children of Israel, God, the Bible declared that He drive them out of Egypt on the wings of an eagle. Mm -hmm. And they came out of Egypt, they never lacked anything. Mm -hmm. Imagine when they were coming out of Egypt, they, ne they went to borrow. Mm -hmm. You can't borrow from your neighbor and you are living for good. Mm -hmm. They can't give you. Mm -hmm. But that was a miracle. And when they came out of it, they forgot the power of God they saw. Mm -hmm. And they began to test God because of they wanted everything to be on their side. Mm -hmm. And the moment you begin to be selfish in life, you forget about the, the author of or the originator of everything that you have acquired mm -hmm. in your life. Mm -hmm. And the moment you forget about it, it's very easy to begin to, even to insult God. Even, mm -hmm. can even, I've heard people even say that uh, it's because of my effort. Mm -hmm. If I was not, if I was not educated, mm. I could not acquire what I had. Mm. 
-hmm. I could not uh, live in this mansion that I've built mm -hmm. because I've worked very hard. I've spent the time in school. Because of that, it's not about how much I've spent in school. It's not about how much I've prayed, how much I've fasted. It's because of the grace and the mercy of God. Mm -hmm. So the children of Israel began to forget about the power of God that they saw mm -hmm. because they became too self-centered. Mm -hmm. On the apostles. That's why you discover that in, at, there was a one particular time that Moses went to pray. Mm -hmm. They forgot about worshiping God. Mm -hmm. They said, Moses is gone. What are we going to do? Let's make something that we'll be able to look at. Mm -hmm. Because there was so much with an idea of being self centered. Mm -hmm. Like someone that is selfish is uh, someone that only considers themselves, mm -hmm. they can't consider others. Mm -hmm. So they forgot about God. And they only reflect about themselves. Mm -hmm. Indeed, lovely. I believe that you know uh, you our viewers out there are getting blessed by this powerful ministration by our uh, prophet Bernard. Still with you on <laughs> on said prophet. Yes. Uh, just uh, another portion of scripture. I would love to hear your views. And you say selfishness is or empty conceit mm -hmm. is often expressed by building up oneself while tearing down someone else. It is one of the works of the flesh, according to Galatians chapter 5, verse 20. Yes. Okay, so, what is your take? When, when, when you look much uh, on this uh, same Galatians chapter 5 and the verse of 20, mm. it's so clear thing about adultery, witchcraft, hatred, violence, emulation, wrath, stiff, sedition, and errors. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look at it, the moment a person is empty of the word, mm -hmm. you don't have the word inside of you. It's very easy to become self-centered, as I said. Mm -hmm. Once you become centered, like even, let me give you an example, in the marriage. Mm -hmm. There are people right now just watching and uh, their marriage have been a stuck mm -hmm. because maybe the spouse is selfish. Mm -hmm. Maybe the husband is selfish. Mm -hmm. Maybe the wife is selfish. Mm -hmm. So the moment you become selfish, it's very easy to hate a person. Hatred comes in mm -hmm. because once you are selfish, you don't have love. Mm -hmm. Selfish is absence of love. Mm -hmm. The only there is no love, selfish comes in. And when it comes in, you can't see any fellow, any brother, any sister progressing. You can't be happy if your, your sister get married or your brother married or your brother that working well is promoted even at the company. If there is no love, selfishness begins to grow. And once it begins to grow, it's very easy for someone to go to the witch doctor to kill mm -hmm. because you don't want another person to have joy. Mm -hmm. Indeed, very uh, lovely and very powerful. Mm -hmm. well, viewers, even as uh, you're hearing it here from Prophet Bennett, he's saying to say, you know, being selfish is just one way of you keeping mm -hmm. hatred in the inside of you because once you have hate in the inside you, of you, you don't want to see your friend uh, prosper, you don't mm -hmm. want to see your friend succeed. Whenever you see them, you know, going ahead and advancing, you just always be, oh, you just always be there to criticize them, to speak bad about them, and discourage them. But as Christians and as children of the Most High God, I believe we should be filled with love in the inside of us. And because we'll be filled with love, I believe that uh, selfishness will not even find uh, room into us. Uh, uh, Prophet, just your last week's encouragement on uh, selfishness for our viewers. Okay. Anyone that you're watching us right now, inside Lusaka and outside Lusaka, I wanted to encourage you. You may not know or didn't know that you are self, you are selfish inside of you. But you have to understand that one thing, if you discover the way you used to be and the way you are, there are two different times you need to go before God. Kneel down and depend before God. Sometimes go to a person that you have offended and ask them for forgiveness. If you won't lose anything to ask for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Many times we think if I ask for forgiveness to my fellow, um, they are going to be so high than me. Mm -hmm. Asking forgiveness or submission simply sends humility and God is going to lift you. The Bible says God uplift the humble and they resist the pride. Mm -hmm. Anywhere you are, brothers and sisters, God loves you. Mm -hmm. Don't be selfish in your life, in the work of God. Support the work of God. Mm -hmm. There are many people that are watching right now. God has spoken to you to support this ministry. God has helped you to support your brother, support your mother, support your family, but you are not able to do that. You just want to keep your things to yourself. Mm -hmm. I want you to know it's time to let go and now allow God to work in your life. Love if you have love inside of you, mm -hmm. you're not going to have self-centered mind. Mm -hmm. When you have life inside of you, you're not going to have self-centered mind. You're going to have the heart to support the work of God and to see others 
been served. That's what I can say. Indeed, lovely. Thank you very much, Prophet. Uh, viewers, are there a whole thing to say you have been blessed? Uh, this has been Prophet Bennett as uh, elaborating more on selfishness and encouraging us as Christians to live a selfless life because the only way we can tap into the blessings of God, the only way we can connect ourselves to the power of God and we can please God is by us humbling ourselves and you know yielding to others when your friend is progressing when your friend is you know succeeding let us support and we'll see to you to say god is going to come to for us and definitely our lives and our stories shall never ever be the same again mr Kayon. yeah and i think uh, if you read the book of uh, proverbs mm -hmm. and selfishness also destroys our friendship mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. like i mentioned that if you are able to help someone because your friend comes mm -hmm. is in need of uh, no urgent need of something and you know, instead of uh, giving or helping the friend or the brother, mm -hmm. you give them excuses, okay? Mm -hmm. Because all you are concerned about is your own interest. Mm -hmm. Anyone else's interest to use none of your business, mm -hmm. okay? And you know, if you start to exhibit such tendencies, then you start pushing people across to you away. Like yesterday, we were talking about uh, knowledge, that uh, knowledge, lack of knowledge also makes people in your life to what? To move out from you, you lose friends, you lose family, you have relatives. You no, know, same thing applies to selfishness mm -hmm. because you're not able to appreciate, okay, the people that are around you, and all you think of is your personal interest. Then, such people start to also say, no, since this person just likes to to spend all he or she has on him or herself, mm -hmm. so let's leave this person alone. Mm -hmm. and at the end of the day. You lose friends, you know, you lose family members, mm -hmm. even those that are just closer to you. So even as we go on with our daily lives, let's learn to put, you know, to embrace even the interest of others. You might differ in opinion with uh, someone, a friend, but that's, that's not make you to, you know, even differ in, a, you know, you can differ in your opinions, but at the end of the day, you still remain uh, one uh, happy, you know, friends, friends or maybe family and those sorts of things. So. Can differ in opinion because all of us we have our own opinions, mm. okay? but that should not uh, you know, bring division among us. So, if you are selfish and your, your, your interest is just your personal interest, mm -hmm. then the people are supposed to even help you. Mm -hmm. They will say, No, if you help this person, it's not going to help the other. Mm -hmm. So, why should we invest in this person? If by investing in him or her, the benefits will just be on him or herself. So, you lose a lot of benefits that come with that being unselfish. So let's tend to put our, our people's interest above uh, our interest. And uh, you know, remember tomorrow is Sunday mm. and we just want to encourage uh, people who are watching that uh, find time to go to church uh, tomorrow and just you know be in the presence of uh, of God. Because just a few hours, you know, in church you worship worship with your, your your friends and also your neighbors and everything. So find time to go to church uh, tomorrow. Could be because we have different times of services. Churches are, you know, you know, you know valid. So let's find the best time that you, you can go and attend that church service tomorrow. Don't just sit at home and say, no, today I'm resting. Since it's Sunday, it's a holiday, I'm going to be home and just rest. So find time to go to church tomorrow, just be in the presence of, uh, of God. And even here at the Terminal Commission Bible Center, you can even come. Uh, for prayer line in the afternoon, is that uh, 14 hours, or can you come for church service in the morning and uh, just be you know, in the presence uh, of God? So find time to go to a church which is near you tomorrow and adjust a fellowship with uh, others. Mm -hmm. yeah. Indeed, I think you know, uh, selfishness is not something that is godly because in God there is no selfishness. Yes. God is a God of everybody, and when God looks at us, He looks at everybody equally. He doesn't look at say that is the president, that's a minister, that's a, a person who is holding a big position, or maybe that person is poor. God looks at us all equally. So I think if we as Christians we want to live a God godly life we should eradicate on the selfish part because being selfish will make us do a lot of things will make us go in extremes in as far as you know we uh, going to the witch doctor like uh, here in james chapter 3 verse 14 uh, 16 saying it can even make you become evil as a result of you being selfish because you want everything yourself you know you're not interested in seeing one prosper seeing one succeed or maybe seeing someone uh, you know looking good or maybe you know uh their life, their lives are changing. I think on that part we should really, really consider the fact that selfishness will just make us, you know, uh, become evil. And you know, you can even go as far as doing 
yeah. things that are very yeah. bad, even as as far as killing, that's just the, the, the power that uh, selfishness holds. So I think as Christians and as children of the Most High God, we should eradicate on the part of selfishness. I believe a selfless life, like Jesus, he sacrificed to die for us on the cross of Calvary. Imagine if he didn't make that decision to die for us. By now, would have been perishing, would have been suffering, would have been, I don't know, would have been in hell, burning or in Kelsey. But because for God so loved us so much, you know, he sacrificed. He's an example of, you know, being a selfless life. So let us look into our lives, you know, analyze our lives and evaluate to see how am I living my life? Am I being selfish in one way or another? Do I appreciate my friends? Do I have love in the inside of me? Then you can detect either if you're selfish or you're living a selfless life. But I believe living a selfless life has a lot of benefits and we'll be able to, you know, adapt in the power of God, we'll be able to adapt in the will of God and together we shall glorify the name of the most high God. And moreover, what makes people become selfish? I think it's just like uh, the prophet was saying here, lack of identity. The fact that you don't know who you are, you know, you, you become jealous of everything. Whenever you yes. see somebody, you know, advancing, makes that uh, step of progress, you just feel like, oh, so this one, this is how they want to live, this is how they're becoming it. Because you don't understand the real you, but if you tend to understand to say, this is who I am and these are the things that I'm, I'm capable of doing, these are the things that I'm capable of achieving, I believe that there will not be any selfishness in it. Of us. Yeah, because when people are selfish, they have uh, they live a very lonely and unha un unhappy life. Because mm. they spend most of the time looking at what the other person is doing. Mm. It could be someone living in a mansion, okay? Mm. Then just ne next is the, the man who lives in a uh, you know, uh, shackle. Mm. And the moment that person in the mansion sees that that person is happy, smiling, mm. you know, they feel bad. Yes. How come is uh, living in a shackle and it is affording uh, to? Have a smile mm. every morning. Okay, yes. so they spend more time looking at it, who's doing what, and who's not doing what, mm -hmm. and you know that makes them, you know, you know, unhappy, mm. lonely, really anxious. Mm. Okay, because someone is living in a you know dust touched house, living in a two store building, but mm. that's for that person out there is able to afford to smile every morning. Mm. Even maybe if they eat you can do mm. the, the person is happy. That person. Yes. They not feel good to say, but how come mm. me I'm having bread and butter here, that person is eating that but and is able to you know to smile every mm. morning. So that makes them upset. Because if you make progress, even a smile, mm. okay, say you smile at your enemy, okay? And the, the more you smile at them, the more because they feel you know, they feel bad. Mm. Some of us people are selfish, okay? Mm. The more you are happy, even if you don't have anything but the fact yes. that you're able to afford the smile. That mm. also makes them uncomfortable. But how come this person is always happy and yet they have nothing? Mm. Okay? So they tend to have a lonely and unhappy life. Mm. And first to live a happy life, we, we need to learn to be unselfish, okay? Mm. To put the interest of others mm. you know, uh, before ours. Okay, so that we have, we have a happy life. Because if you see someone is progressing. That also make you what happy. No, see, I put my effort in that someone what progress. It makes you what feel part of that person's life. Now, if all you do is uh, to say if I put that person in there, then you part. Okay, then you will be stagnant mm. instead of you making your own progress. Also, you will be focusing on how should I bring that person down mm. so that I have take a man so that me I overtake. Mm. But life should not be like that. You need to you know put. I all move at the same pace mm. so that we have a happy, you know, happy life all of us. Mm. Not like you see someone is smiling and they have problems, mm. and that makes you upset. And you expect people just to be, you know, sad all the time, just because they have a problem, mm. so that you can just to say, no, let them come to me and ask for help, and then I'm not able to give them help. Like I mentioned that if your brother comes to you for help and you're able to help them, don't give them stories to say, I can't believe my help. And yet we have what you're supposed to uh, to give uh, those people. Mm -hmm. So let's learn you know, to be unselfish and just you know just make a, a, you know balance the interest of uh, other people. Mm -hmm. Because the more we become selfish, you know, you also become stagnant. Because you can't have everything to yourself. Okay? So we learn to, to you know, spread and just uh, make other people also happy. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Um, that's very true. 
we really have to live a selfless life. You know, selfishness will take us nowhere. By the end of the day, we we'll just find ourselves in a ditch or I don't know where we'll find ourselves in a drainage or somewhere else. Why? Because, you know, we are too ambitious. We're looking at ourselves more highly than others. You know, we're not being considerate of others. How others are living whenever we see our friends, you know, are in, 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 in horrible situations, are, are facing hardships. We'll just be there when we know to say, well, there's something that we can, you know, help out with the situation to say also their life changes also their lives become like our lives so i believe that really we must uh, eradicate the selfish part because by the end of the day we shall miss heaven even as it says to say you know uh, selfishness really friends in as much as friends want to be close to you but because you are always uh, you know high every time you are like this me i don't associate with such people hey eh? me i look like this i can't look i can't you know talk to such people as, as people like that but i believe that by the end of the day it all comes back to living a christ like life an example life like the one that jesus lived here on earth is a very good example perfect example of living <coughs> pardon me a selfless life and together we shall glorify the name of the Most High God. So, viewers out there, let us look into our lives. Let us look at our lives, looking at it, where we are losing it, where we are missing it, where we are going the wrong track. And try to, you know, whenever we look at our lives and we say, okay, I think here I'm, I'm too ambitious. I think here I look at myself highly than others, you know, just try to cut off on such things and together we shall have that you know interaction with God we shall have that connection we shall have that fellowship with our Lord Jesus Christ and person Savior together we shall glorify the name of the most high God so if we still want to maintain our friendship with our friends let us be humble yes being humble is just one way of being selfless because when you're looking yourself to be high you're looking yourself to be you know not falling into a certain category like others are falling probably maybe you are full, you have a lot of money you're rich and you don't want to associate with someone who has no money who you know is in need just because you know you, you are you are you are there i believe that we'll be missing it but let us eradicate on the selfishness part and live a selfless life and i believe that we shall glorify the name of god amen so as we conclude i think we've learned one or two uh, things about why if not be selfish be generous and <laughs> then to help uh, people that come to seek uh, help from you We'll be looking at uh, selfishness, and we're quoting from the book of Philippians 2, uh, verse 2 to 4. And uh, this is that morning live. I'd like to thank all the guests that came to this program, starting with the people who came to do the French, uh, my sister, that Victoria Fritti, and the guests who came, and also ITC uh, Design and Komu Ngomu Solution, a musician here, Mr. Lawrence Chifuntwe, and also Prophet uh, Bernard, who came from Shama. Uh, miracle uh, Embassy in Osaka. Therefore, for me, I uh, love the Kayombo and uh, my colleague Senior PD and the entire production crew who live in the hands of uh, Mr. Lawrence uh, to close uh, the song uh, as we conclude uh, the program. And be sure to catch us uh, in the afternoon for the partnership uh, program. God bless Bye -bye. you.
The Bible says, according to the book of Hebrews 12, 24, that Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, the sprinkling of the blood that speaketh a better way than that of Peter, we are going to pray by the power and authority invested in this. Jehovah, I release the anointing right now. The anointing that shall break every yoke. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory. It's time to image yourself into the presence of God. If you are not in God, you are with the devil. There are two masters. It's either we, you are on the left, it, you are, it's either you are a goat or a sheep. The Bible says in the last days, you shall separate the goat from the sheep. And the sheep shall be in the right side. I want you to take this moment, child of God, to move on the right side. The Bible says the right side of the right hand of, of God is the right hand of power. So Paul is using this illustration that you are brand new new creation you've come into a whole new world you are not the same person that you used to be you are linked up to the very dna of jesus